So this is the Islamic Center of Southern California, 434 South Vermont Avenue. Uh, the Islamic Center owes me hundreds of thousands of dollars. They were so butthurt that I dared to criticize Islam on Facebook. They collaborated with the LAPD and the crooked Attorney General of, of California at the time to frame me for hate crimes. They worked with the LAPD, with the Attorney General, uh, basically colluding as one large group to punish me for my criticism of Islam. What these people, it's hard to call them people, um, what these, 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 these people did was basically hide evidence of my innocence to prolong my case and cause maximum financial damage to me. Uh, they had received an apology letter, basically a confession letter, from the person who had threatened their mosque. Uh, the, the person was Michael Slauson, who was the son of an L.A. County judge. They hid this confession and even sent internal communications amongst themselves to the effect that, hey, uh, we have this confession. What should we do with it? Should we release it? No, we shouldn't because the Trump supporter needs to go to jail. In other words, the communication that my lawyer read through that was internal Islamic Center of Southern California communication read to the effect that, hey, who cares if Mark Fagan is innocent? He's a Trump supporter. That concealment and collusion to hide evidence cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars because it dragged on my case for over a year. Uh, the Islamic Center of Southern California board members, again, these are, these are religious quote-unquote leaders who run this mosque, were aware of this confession and insidiously acted to hide this evidence of my innocence so that my case would drag on and I would eventually go to jail because I was a quote-unquote Trump supporter and my innocence didn't matter. Now think about this. This is supposed to be a religious organization. Their actions, their behavior show that they're not really a religious organization. They're a political terror organization. They owe me hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have refused to pay a penny, and when I sued them and their insurance company, they hid behind the excuse of immunity. And that is the only reason this mosque is still open today, because I would have bankrupted them with lawsuits. 